Question 28. You hear a trainee nurse asking his senior colleague about the use of anti-embolism socks for a patient. Now read the question. I noticed that Mrs Jones isn't wearing the usual anti-embolism socks, but I didn't want to ask her why not because she was asleep. Is it because her legs are swollen? Well, sometimes we don't recommend the socks if there's severe swelling with edema, but that's not the case here. Mrs Jones was actually given them initially on admission last night, but she told us this morning that her lower legs were feeling numb. She described it as having no feeling. Until we've checked out the reason for that, for example, it could be an underlying condition which could damage her arterial circulation. We're reducing the risk of thrombosis by pharmacological means. Oh, I see. Question 29. You hear a vet talking about her involvement in the management of the practice where she works. Now read the question. At first, when I took over the financial running of the practice, I felt rather thrown in at the deep end. I really needed to know my stuff and be super organised especially with the number of new drugs and treatments available now, all of which have to be very carefully costed. It keeps me super busy, but monitoring stocks and so on helps give me confidence and allows me to see how everything fits into the overall picture of working as a vet. My manager's more than happy to leave me to run this side of things. He's in overall charge, of course, but I can always go to him if there's a problem. I keep him closely informed of what's happening. He's always pleased if I manage to make savings anywhere. Question 30. You hear a physiotherapist giving a presentation about a study she's been involved in. Now read the question. I'm a physiotherapist, and I'm presenting our poster about constraint-induced movement therapy for children suffering from partial paralysis following brain surgery. We did a case series of four children who'd all undergone hemispherectomies. They were admitted to inpatient therapy within two weeks post-op and began therapy two to three weeks post-op. The therapy continued after they were discharged. Our findings were that three of the kids regained excellent function and mobility with ambulation and upper extremity function. One didn't do so well, unfortunately, but he gave up the therapy early on. This type of movement therapy has been used a lot in adult populations following stroke. The findings here promote moving forward with further research on the pediatric or adolescent population following either hemispherectomy or other surgeries to help us decide how appropriate this therapy would be for them. That is the end of Part B. Now All right. Number 28 is B. I think that was quite easy. 29 is C. This was also not that difficult. Uh, 30th is A. This was a bit tricky, but if you have followed the tape according to the keywords, uh, she gave the suggestion right at the end. When she used the word pediatric and 
for hemispherectomy and other types of surgeries. So she didn't identify it for which particular type. She didn't talk about what was the total length of the study. She did give uh, like uh, the onsets of the like uh, study, uh, two weeks post-op and two to three weeks post-op and so on. But she never said what is the total length of time of the study. So for information C, it's not given partly. She didn't identify it for which particular type uh, this therapy is going to work. So then ultimately it was the kids. She clearly said uh, we used to do it for the adults in stroke, but we applied it for the first time for the children. Got good results. Maybe we need to research more. So let me make a basic analysis. Any questions? 28, 29, 30. Which is not clear. You want to listen again? You want to discuss? You can ask. Yes. Do it. Do it. First, 28, 29. Is it clear? 28, 29. 29, 28, 29. Very nice. So uh, we'll do 29 and 30. 29. I took over the financial running of the practice. I felt rather thrown in at the deep. At first, when I took over the financial running of the practice, I felt rather thrown in at the deep end. I really needed to know my stuff and be super organised, especially with the number of new drugs and treatments available now, all of which have to be very carefully costed. It keeps me super busy, but monitor... negative. Super busy. I was uh, thrown in the end, thrown in the deep side this guy, and financial side is the business guy. So it means she was on the management side and she was having some troubles. Here word use kiya, but, and that's like a conjunction as well, but at the same time, it's a contradicting word. When you use the but, it means now you're going to talk the opposite side, what already been said. So she was giving the negative details, but when she said but, she gave the positive things. At first, when I took over the financial running of the practice, I felt rather thrown in at the deep end. I really needed to know my stuff and be super organized, especially with the number of new drugs and treatments available now, all of which have to be very carefully costed. It keeps me super busy, but monitoring stocks and so on helps give me confidence and allows me to see how everything fits into the overall picture of working as a vet. Okay. So she said it's giving me a bigger picture. So it means she's having a greater understanding of her work. Uh, let's listen to the, uh, again, she again relates to the B part. My manager's more than happy to leave me to run this side of things. He's in overall charge, of course, but I can always go to him if there's a problem. I keep him closely informed of what's happening. He's always pleased if I manage to make savings anywhere. So she never said she wants the manager to take more interest. Manager happy, she's happy, she's making savings, everybody's happy. Okay. So for B, they discussed two times. Once in the start, when she said financial side of the business, and in the last as well. So this you also need to see. Sometimes they discuss one option two times as well. But again, uh, it was not that uh, she was having some feeling. So context was changed. She talked about the financial side, but whatever the content written here and the spoken is not matched. So this couldn't be answered. C match or because confidence ki baat ki and greater understanding ki baat ki. So, Keywords match already. All right, ji. Ab ye baat apne zara dhyan se sunna. Okay. Tape roll karte hain. Usko chalne dete hain. Hint aapko ek de deta hoon. She introduced herself. Then she talked about the research she did. Uh, she talked about the case subjects. What kind of case subjects they picked up. And so on. Musunna apne. Sari factual details hain. 
आंसर आपका स्टार्ट होगा जब वो फाइंडिंग का वर्ड यूज करती है एंड शी इज यूजिंग द एग्जैक्ट वर्ड फाइंडिंग्स वहां से लेके एंड तक आपने बात ध्यान से सुननी है फाइंडिंग वर्ड्स एंड देन शी इज गोना यूज द वर्ड पीट्रियाटिक एंड स्ट्रोक अडल्ट्स ये सारे वर्ड्स आपने पिक करने हैं कहां-कहां पे हैं आपको बात समझ आएगी इसकी आई विल लेट इट रोल दिस टाइम नहीं समझ आएगा आई विल प्ले इट अगेन I am a physiotherapist and I'm presenting our poster about constraint induced movement therapy for children suffering from partial paralysis following brain surgery. We did a case series of four children who'd all undergone hemispherectomies. They were admitted to inpatient therapy within 2 weeks post op and began therapy 2 to 3 weeks post op. The therapy continued after they were discharged. Our findings were that three of the kids regained excellent function and mobility with ambulation and upper extremity function. One didn't do so well, unfortunately, but he gave up the therapy early on. This type of movement therapy has been used a lot in adult populations following stroke. The findings here promote moving forward with further research on the pediatric or adolescent population. following either hemispherectomy or other surgeries to help us decide how appropriate this therapy would be for them and if a suggestion be we need to move move forward with the research han ji pick hua ke nahi hai ma ji theek hai aapki feeling bhi samajh aa rahi hai isko dobara sunte hain Okay, I'm going to stop it. Okay, जहाँ जहाँ पे आंसर आ रहा है. I'm a physiotherapist, and I'm presenting our poster about constraint-induced movement therapy for children suffering from partial paralysis following brain surgery. Topic है इनकी रिसर्च का. Partial paralysis following brain surgery, but in children. That's the research they did. We did a case series of four children who'd all undergone hemispherectomies. They were admitted to inpatient therapy within 2 weeks post op and began therapy 2 to 3 weeks post op. The therapy continued after they were discharged. Factual details. What cases when the therapy started and up till when it was conducted. But wo kab end ki ye unhone nahi bataya. Option C says the length of time covered by the study. ठीक है इसमें क्लैरिटी नहीं है इट्स नॉट डिफाइंड क्लियरली हाउ मेनी मंथ्स और इयर्स इट टुक एक्चुअली फिजियोथेरेपी में वैसे बड़ा लंबा प्रोग्राम होता है सो वी हैव नो टाइम स्पेसिफाइड नहीं है क्लियर इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं है इट कुडंट बी आंसर इंफॉर्मेशन तब भी आंसर में कन्वर्ट होती है अगर वो क्लियर मैच हो जाए सो सी इज आउट एट द मोमेंट Our findings were that three of the kids regained excellent function and mobility with ambulation and upper extremity function. One didn't do so well, unfortunately. Factual details again. Now she is going to give the reason why one patient didn't like uh, came up to the mark. But he gave up the therapy early on. He didn't completed the course. So there were four subjects. Three completed the therapy. We got good results. but didn't completed so if we eliminate that it means we have a 100% success rate as per the research samajh to yahi aa rahi hai agree fair enough this type of movement therapy has been used a lot in adult populations following stroke this type of therapy this is a reference pronoun here she already talked about the topic in the beginning so if she is using this it means the same therapy has been used a lot in adult population after the stroke and so on bachcho pe kabhi nahi kiya unhone pehle to iska matlab hai ki proven therapy hai they have the success rates but in adults only the findings here promote moving forward with further research on the pediatric or adolescent population the findings here question kya hai particular interest of the findings ये पर्टिकुलर इंटरेस्ट ही पैराफ्रेज ऑफ इसने किया है द फाइंडिंग्स हियर आर बिकॉज़ दे हैव अ सक्सेस रेट ऑन थ्री किड्स नाउ दे वांट टू फर्दर द रिसर्च 
इन द पीडियाट्रिक एंड एडोलेसेंट मीन्स छोटे से लेके अठारह साल के बच्चों तक बिफोर दे कन्वर्ट इन टू अडल्ट उससे पहले पहले हम इस थेरेपी को फर्दर रिसर्च में लेके जा सकते हैं मे बी थ्री केसेज इज नॉट लाइक सॉलिड ग्राउंड फॉर द लाइक मेरा ख्याल टू फ्लोर द इन्फॉर्मेशन मे बी दे वॉन्ट टू डू एट अ वाइड स्केल ऑफ सब्जेक्ट सो देव लाइक गुड स्टार्ट सो दे कैन प्रमोट इट समझ ये आ रही है ऐसी होता है ना सच में तो ऐसी बातें करते हैं सारी following either hemispherectomy or other surgeries to type of order bataya nahi b out kar diya the type of disorder involved she didn't specified ki is tarah ke problem ke liye we will do this therapy so b is out a bach gaya the age of the subjects kis age pe humne further research karni hai that was the suggestion the suggestion is we need to do further research but on these age groups and the age group is adolescents and pediatrics yeah but a smooth wo tape leke chali hai information was coming very smoothly you just need to follow the tape if you read the options correctly you are listening aapko samajh aati jayegi baat follow karte jaiye all right ji any questions koi baat na samajh aayi ho strategy format se leke 30th question tak jitne bhi abhi humne ye 1 hour and 45 minutes se baat ki hai any query you have सोच रहे हैं सोच के बताएंगे कल ठीक आई एन वट आई अंडरस्टैंड इज नॉर्मली वेन यू आर इन द लेक्चर समझ आ रही होती है नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट ये तो गलत है मे बी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी परसेंट यू आर गेटिंग और यू गॉट द पॉइंट कि करना क्या है पार्ट बी के अंदर ऑब्वियसली यू नीड प्रैक्टिस वेन यू विल प्रैक्टिस यू विल एनकाउंटर सम प्रॉब्लम्स एंड इफ यू आर वर्किंग करेक्टली मे बी दे सॉर्ट आउट बाई दम otherwise again you can come up to me and then we can sort it out so what problem you are facing uh, what you are doing correct what you need to do correct and then so on so obviously is rectification karke hum uske improve kar sakte hain to lecture ka main idea ye hota hai ki you know what to do if you are doing part b you know how to approach uh, what are the skills you need what particular skill you need to work on uh, if you have developed the skill then in combination it will work theek hai ji यहां तक समझ आ गई है गुड ठीक है इफ यू वांट वी कैन डू जस्ट वन टेस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ प्रैक्टिस आई जस्ट रोल द सिक्स क्वेश्चंस। छह क्वेश्चन करते हैं हो सकते एक भी ठीक ना हो कोई मसला नहीं है जस्ट लिसन टू दिप आज बी गुड और कम टू टेस्ट नंबर टू इन द बुक्स यू हैव टेस्ट नंबर टू कम टू पार्ट बी आप बाकी लोगों को मैं देता हूँ The test name is Sarah Croft, but come to Part B. In some people's book, it will be page number nineteen, and some other books it will be maybe fifteen. ठीक है जी. Okay, you can start reading. In the meantime, I'll open and uh, I'll give you the. I'll play the tape. part b or i have played the tape we will just listen part b and i will roll the all the six questions as you will get in the final exam so let's see uh, how much you have picked up okay doesn't matter if you get more answers wrong you just need to see at the pace of the test and then you need to see yourself where you are at the moment and how much work you need to do if you are able to crack two questions it means you need to work for four questions If you're able to crack all six, it means the part B is ready. If you're unable to crack any question, it doesn't matter. It means you need to start working on part B, and the strategies we have discussed about. You need to regroup everything, practice, and then you will be ready for part B. So we'll just have a like a general assessment. All right, Ji. Okay, keep listening. In this part of the test, you'll hear six different extracts. 
In each extract, you'll hear people talking in a different healthcare setting. For questions 25 to 30, choose the answer A, B or C, which fits best according to what you hear. You'll have time to read each question before you listen. Complete your answers as you listen. Now look at question 25. You hear two trainee doctors doing an activity at a staff training day. Now read the question. So, what did the trainer say we have to do? Well, we've got to look through these case notes, 10 sets in total, and decide which of the patients should be referred to the consultant as a matter of urgency and which can wait. Oh, right. And did I hear him say there's a limited number you can refer? Not exactly. He said that we should put them in rank order according to the severity of the symptoms and other factors evident from the case notes. Once we've agreed on our list, we have to go and compare with another pair of trainees. OK. Let's get started then. Question 26. You hear a radiographer talking to a patient about her MRI scan. Now read the question. Come in, come in. Mrs. Brown, isn't it? My name's Ted, and I'm going to be doing your MRI scan today. Now, can you get up on the table for me? You know, I'm really claustrophobic. Well, this is a new piece of equipment. The diameter is much larger, so it should make it a little more comfortable for you. <clears throat> You'll also have this call bell, so if you need me at any point during the test, you squeeze that, okay? Okay. Now, your scan's only going to take about 15 minutes. Are you okay with that? Uh... I am. OK, let's get started then. Question 27. You hear two nurses discussing an article in a nursing journal. Now read the question. Did you see the article about research on strokes and sight problems in the latest nursing magazine? Yes, I found it interesting that there's quite such a high degree of visual impairment after a stroke. Yeah, but I think I could have told them that without an expensive research study. Well, you need evidence to get progress in how people are treated, and now there'll be a push for all stroke patients to have eye assessments as a matter of course. It certainly makes a pretty solid case for that, especially as there's plenty that can be done to help people if early screening diagnoses an issue. Absolutely. I was just sorry the article didn't provide more detail about the type of sight problems that are most common after a stroke. Well, there's a reference to where the whole study's been published, so you could always find out there. Question 28. You hear two hospital managers talking about a time management course for staff. Now read the question. The uptake for the course in time management for staff has been disappointing, hasn't it? It has, but I'm not exactly sure why, because everyone seems to know about it. And we asked for it to be changed from a four-hour session to two two-hour slots to make it easier for nurses to be released from their wards. But apparently that wasn't possible because it has to be done a certain way. Yeah, I'm not convinced that was the problem anyway. I think once staff become aware of what it's aiming to do, and how it fits together with other initiatives, there might be more interest. Yeah, there certainly is a need, even if the staff themselves don't actually realise it at present. Question 
Question 29. You hear an optometrist reporting on some research he's been doing. Now read the question. I specialise in dealing with fungal eye infections. At present, treatment involves giving eye drops every hour for at least two weeks. I wanted to improve this process by designing a system capable of releasing antifungal drugs onto the eye over an extended period. Contact lenses are perfect for this, as their hydrogel structure has the ability to uptake and release drugs, and their placement on the eye ensures the drug gets released directly to the cornea. In order to make a contact lens provide drugs over a sustained period, I've modified the lens. I've also used nanoparticles for packaging the drugs. So, I've managed to create a system capable of delivering an antifungal drug, called nanomycin, for up to four hours. I now hope to increase this, and use this system with other drugs. Question 30. You hear a consultant talking to a trainee about a patient's eye condition. Now read the question. Have we got uh, Mrs Kent's notes? Yes, they're here. She's coming in today for possible laser surgery for her retinopathy, isn't she? Well, depending on results. And from the look of these pictures we took last time, there's been a slow improvement. So we'll talk to her, and perhaps hold off for the time being. Unless her condition's worsened, because it can in some cases. So what's the cause? Well, we know a leak of fluid behind the retina causes the distorted vision which sufferers get but not why that occurs. There may be a link with stress and also steroid use, but the jury's still out, I'm afraid. That is the end of part B. All right, let's do the answers. Twenty five is B, twenty six B, twenty seven A, twenty nine B, thirtieth, oh, sorry, twenty eight B, twenty nine C, and thirtieth A. Look at the And you can mark it date-wise and you can keep the score with you. So you know your raw score is this and what's the target? Target is minimum. Uh, you should score randomly for every time when you do B. But if you are in good nick, uh, you should score five or six is absolutely correct score. But if you are in good nick, five has to be there. Otherwise, on average, four se niche nahi hona chahi. If you're scoring less than four, it's not good. It's not working. Anybody? Yeah. All right, Ji. Aaj bhot padhai ki hai. Ab papers ko kar le band. Chik hai. Or I hope ke aapko part B ki samaj aagi hogi. And what you need to do with the part B. Chik hai. Or agar mein part B ka title hata dun. At least you know what to do with the MCQs. In part C, we have the same types of questions. सिर्फ फर्क ये है कि कल वो छह क्वेश्चन इकट्ठे प्ले होंगे द ओनली ट्रबल इज उसमें ट्रांजेक्शन सीखनी होती है बस हम वेन दे आर मूविंग फ्रॉम थर्टी वन टू थर्टी टू इन पार्ट बी दिव क्लियर इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्शन बट इन पार्ट सी देर इज नो इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड सिक्स क्वेश्चन टूगेदर बस इतना सा फर्क है बट द अप्रोच एंड द वे एंड टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इज एक्जैक्टली द सेम कोई चेंज नहीं है ठीक है ओके मैंने भी कुछ इंस्ट्रक्शन आपको देनी है Uh, let me like turn off the recording and then we'll talk.